agent handling the film rights to his story. Oh, what a story it is. Lovely. And all because of how he changed James. Now, the book James wrote about Bob is a bestseller. But that hasn't stopped Bob doing what he likes doing best. Well, apart from uh, shoulder balancing, he enjoys busking <laughs> with James on the streets of London. She said, take me anywhere. Bob loves the attention when we're out busking. He just loves to perform for the audiences and he knows he's a complete superstar. I put a blanket down for him on the floor in front of me and he just sits on it quite happily and I get on with playing the guitar. Thank you very much. Bob and I first met when I came back to my sport housing program and after a while of realising that he didn't belong to anybody, I took him in. So what is his name? Bob. Mr. Bob, you are you, Bobby? I've written a book about Bob and my adventures together and how he's changed my life and given me structure. We have the fur. You do? Bob is the best companion in the world. Never lies to me, never deceives me, except for when it comes to food. He loves me and I love him. And Bob and I, we've created a very special bond which I've never known from another cat in my life. And what a Bobby Dazzler he is. I mean, James, he's, he looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, he's a superstar. He's changed my life. Yeah. He's, you know, he's so intelligent. He started following me around a few years ago after I noticed him at he'd been in a fight. Yeah. He was hiding in my building, and I haven't looked back. You know, taking care of someone else instead of myself has just completely yeah. turned my life yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. Now, is this story going to be made into a film? That's the question. How confident are you? More and more every day. If you'd said that to me a year and a half ago, I probably would have laughed quite hard about it. And if you said I'd be sitting next to Eddie here, you know, I would definitely have laughed about it. <laughs> well, I was straight full of a four and a half years, so, you know, yeah. I, I know. The it's interesting that you being at one with the cats, because you are, on the street, you are at one with, with everyone coming up, because it's, uh, you, that's where you don't actually, I wasn't actually sleeping on the streets, but I, I just lived there, though, but you, you know, the, the fact that you met a cat and got on with him, and he got on with you, is great. That's oh, great. he's, he's just so intelligent, he does little tricks for the audiences and things. Bob, you're going to give me a high five. Oh. Oh. So obviously this Hollywood agent saw how talented Bob is and was amazed by this story. It's the same agent that uh, came up with the Marley and Me. Well, it's the same Hollywood agent that yeah. Um, yeah. is um, currently trying to get it sold. So yeah. who knows, you know, as I said, everything's sort of snowballed. I mean, we've sold, um, we've been non-stop in the top 10 for 40 weeks now. Right. And, um, your book, yeah, and the story it is just incredible. It's a good time for ginger cats because we hear in the news today, uh, fresh from California, yes, this we do. Alex, that uh, yeah, the Californians love ginger cats. Yeah, tabbies apparently too much attitude. Yeah, white cats are too aloof. And black cats are too mysterious. Now, would you agree with this, Eddie? <laughs> I mean, you haven't had a cat, but you've had a dog that behaves like a cat, you were telling me. Yes, you. I mean, I do like cats, but I never had... Well, I think there was a cat. I was too young to know about my... It's a ginger cat, though. Yeah, well, I mean, he's cool. He's, he's, he's a, interestingly not looking at me at all. But I, 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 I... He's watching himself in the morning. Oh, is he doing that? He's the, yeah, no, he's that much of a pro. He knows when he's close up, is he? He's just checking. Exactly. No, I think, I think James... Cool he's got this sort of... He's got this strong quality of just sitting there and calm and... Cameras he doesn't give a monkeys. No. He's Bob is a, he is a one of a kind and that's why, you know, I had to do the book about him, you know. Of course. It's just, you know, when I got offered the chance by my agent Mary Patton, I, I just had to staff it up, you know. You know, she said, Would you like to do do your story? I was like, oh, Yeah, right. Well, sure. We're glad you and have. We're so here we glad are you now. Have. Good luck with the film and the book. It's Thank called A Street Cat Named Bob and it's out now. Thanks to all of our guests today. Eddie's mammoth tour of the world, Force Majeure, starts in March and then it'll be arriving in the UK from tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be here with Anna Green, won't we? See you right. Thanks again, Eddie.